Hi friends, I hope you're all well. Today I have a book haul to share with you. You might know that I don't often buy books. I read a lot of books from my library. Um, I also read a lot of ebooks, so um, I do probably have more books I buy in ebook form, but these are the first physical books I have bought in about 18 months. I think the last time I bought books was when I was home in Scotland in November 2019. So um, quite a long time ago. But I decided to treat myself to some books um, and just have a little splurge on myself and buy some books I have been really wanting to read for a really long time. Quite a few of these are five star predictions for me and I'm just very excited to read them all. So I wanted to share that excitement with you and share what I have bought. So the first book I will talk about, I've actually just read this week and that was Tiny Moons, A Year of Eating in Shanghai. And this is a lovely food memoir. I won't talk about it too much here because I'll be talking about it in my wrap up soon. Um, but I really, really love this. It's so um, sweet and it just kind of explores food um, and how food connects us, how food's connected to place um, and identity and things like that. Um, I love the descriptions of food. I will talk about this more fully in a wrap up, but just to say I bought it in this book haul um, and I'm very glad that I did treat myself to it. I also bought another kind of foodie book and that was Eat Up by Ruby Tando. I saw this mentioned by Lauren from Lauren and the Books quite a long time ago um, and kind of had it on my radar for a little while but um, never was able to kind of source it for a while so I ended up treating myself to it and um, it's meant to be about food and the joy of food and kind of celebrating little foodie moments um, and the joy that food can bring us and I think that sounds really wholesome and lovely and I'm very excited to read it. Another book that Booktube made me buy was The Other Side of Stone by Linda Cracknell and I bought this because I saw Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings uh, mentioned in a book haul and it just sounded really intriguing to me. It's set in Perth in Scotland um, and it's set around a, a woolen mill which um, there is like a sort of historic setting. Uh, woolen mills were quite a big thing in Scotland um, and certainly in Perthshire they closed in kind of like the 90s so um, still very recent history but the the history here goes back as far as 1831 and we've got dual timelines that we follow um, different people, different lived experiences all connected to this mill so I think it sounds fascinating. Um, I did already start, I read a couple of chapters um, but I want to kind of sit down and really read it in kind of one sitting because it's only a short book. It's a couple of hundred pages, I think 130 pages or so. So it is quite short and I would like to kind of dedicate some time to just this book. I then treat myself to what would probably fall under sci-fi, I think. Um, I treat myself to Elle McNichol's Show Us Who You Are. Uh, this is one of the books I featured in my Books by Autistic Authors video. Very, very excited to read this. Of the two Elle McNichol books, this premise sounds um, the most exciting to me just now, but I do want to read both. So um, if I enjoy this one, I will definitely be buying a kind of spark. Um, but I'm definitely really excited for this one. It follows a young woman. It's sort of techy. Um, adventure driven, it sounds fun, it sounds exciting, I am looking forward to reading it. I also bought Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Temi O, oh, and this follows a group of teenagers as they go to kind of explore an earth like planet in space and kind of see if it's habitable. Um, habitable, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it sounds really good. It follows six teenagers um, and their lives. And I, I've had this on my radar for ages and thought about picking up the audiobook. But I think that Chris might enjoy this too. Chris, my partner, might enjoy this too. So I thought he tends to read physical books um, over ebooks. So I thought I will buy a physical copy and hopefully it's one that we can both enjoy together. And another fun sci-fi that I bought, this chilling effect. Um, this follows a group of kind of people and cats and animals, I think. Um, and they're, they're in space and it's their crew and following them. I, I think it sounds quite action packed, which is good. Um, I, I'm curious to read more sort of books set in space. So if you have any more recommendations, I'd be, they'd be very, very welcome. But yeah, a debut space opera, which I'm very excited to read. Now for some short story collections. So the first one I have here is Elsewhere Home by Leila Abulela. This is by a British Sudanese author who's based, I think, in Aberdeen in Scotland. Certainly they're based somewhere in Scotland, which is one of the reasons that I have been sort of eyeing their work for a long time um, and really curious to read some. And I think that when you read a new author, sometimes short stories are a really good way to kind of sample their work. 
and get an idea of the kinds of stories they write and the way they write those stories. So that's one of the reasons I chose to pick this one up before anything else by this author. But I also think that the themes of this short story collection are really up my street. So it's about like home, belonging, place, our connections to place. And as an immigrant myself, that's something that I really love to read about. So I'm very curious to read this and see what I think of it. And when I mentioned five star predictions, it will be really no surprise to you that I have included um, in my five star predictions and also in this book haul, um, two books by Jackie Kay, uh, who I've really fallen in love with her writing, really enjoying it. And these are both short story collections. Um, first one's called Reality Reality, which follows um, young women in love or in solitude and their lives. And I love the way that Jackie Kay writes about love. So I was really intrigued by this one. And I thought while I was sort of picking up some books, I would just pick up another Jackie Kay because I know I'm going to enjoy them. Um, and I picked up Why Don't You Stop Talking? And this is actually Jackie Kay's first collection of stories. Um, so I'm intrigued to see like how that will compare to some of Jackie Kay's later writing, um, but also just really intrigued by this. And I think the, the, the title of it sounds quite interesting. Why Don't You Stop Talking? I don't know, it just feels like such a mood. So <laughs> um, I'm really interested to read all of these books. Super excited for them all. Let me know if you've read any of these, what you thought of them. Um, and which ones you think I should pick up next. Obviously I've read Tiny Moons, loved it. So I'm hoping that's the mood that's gonna just be this entire book haul and I'm going to love them all. I'm very excited for them so. Oh, and before I forget, there is one more book that I am still expecting to arrive and it's called Bomb Boy and it's by Yoande Omotoso. And this is set in Cape Town and it follows a young man who is plagued, I think he's young anyway, um, a man who's plagued by loneliness and he's seeking a cure for his loneliness. Um, and I really, really loved A Woman Next Door by this author um, when I read it earlier this year. So I'm super keen to read more from them. And they have a new book coming out in the autumn, which is called An Unusual Grief, which I'd also like to read, but I thought I will buy their debut first read that and then potentially buy the new book as well. So but now that really is everything for this video. I'm so excited for all these books. I'm really looking forward to reading them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye.